These are tips and tricks everyone that plays Tarkov Arena should know. With Arena being more of a fast-paced gameplay, entering multiple gunfights in under a few seconds each. Some of these tips you may already know, some you may not, but they will make you a better player instantly. After each tip, there is gameplay with a voiceover going over the scenario and gameplay using that tip, understanding how it won my team the round or got me the kills in the situation I was placed in. Tip 1. Double tapping R will quickly reload your gun. First, let's show you in settings. Scroll down until you get to reload, and right under that will be emergency weapon reload. You can see if you look all the way to the right, that should be set to double click. This will allow you to drop the mag that's inserted in your gun, but quickly load the next. Let's jump into a scenario using this. So right here I kill a guy but I am unsure where the last two guys are. Knowing it's a 3v2 and we have control of A, I have to be ready for the next fight just in case he swings heli with the time counting down to flag. They might try to take B point before the flag spawns so they have a chance to win this round. I reload quickly by double tapping R, it puts me back in the fight and what do you know he comes and tries to take control of B before the flag even spawns. I pick him off going to point. On here I am in a 1v1 with 10 seconds until raiders spawn in. I am controlling B side, but if I sit on B, he can swing on me at any point and I'll never know when he's swinging, so I don't want him to have control. I shoot almost my whole mag towards him, but I don't want to have two bullets out of my 20. So if he decides to push me, I have to double tap R to quickly reload to be ready for the swing. Instead, he decides not to and goes to the flag instead. I take control of heli and decide to push early because he is worried about me and raiders and probably thinks I will swing at like 3 to 4 seconds instead. Taking a look at tip number two, put your sprint on continuous. 1v2 situation, what continuous sprint does is it allows me to let go of the sprint button which will end my sprint automatically without sliding and pull my gun up quicker. He swings and I one pop him. So now I'm in a 1v1, I know the other guy was close to bus cubby, I found out he still is in that direction, I shoot him and scare him and let him know I have the shotgun. Sprint to stairs where I have height advantage land a shot because my continuous sprint allows me to get this shot off quickly jump down let him know i'm controlling point listen to where he's going down, don't bitch. let him swing on me i push his swing hop off point and use my continuous sprint and shotgun to my advantage take home the round taking a look at point number three use the shoulder transition 1v2 i hear someone off his side and i know someone's back heli so no matter what i should have my gun on my left side because the guy swinging from behind heli was swinging out to my left so if my gun is on my left side, I will see him sooner than having it on my right side. I peek out left, miss, but quick reload and re-peek him before his buddy can push me or the guy I missed re-peeks me. 1v1 now. I swing him without reloading because I know he won't expect it. I just have to make sure I land my shots and I do. Number 4. Heal your chest and head. In this clip, I get a quick kill transitioning my gun to the left shoulder because he is swinging my left. I know this team doesn't usually just send one guy, so I get ready for the second one. I swing, he is in a weird position, we both land shots on each other, instead of me pushing while my chest and head are now orange and yellow, which makes me a walking one shot, I run back while my team covers, and I heal only my head and chest to get back into the fight. I was essentially a one shot, the round turns into a 1v1, I am controlling point, so the only thing that I am doing is listening to where he will swing from. He tries to bait my shot hoping I'll miss and have a possible reload, he is trying to trick me from where he was coming from. Here's his point of view. Oh, this chest is... I wanna put your chest on. Uh, He's gonna one-tap me anyways. I'm gonna get him to shoot that first shot. Damn it. <laughs> that shot? <laughs> Yeah, I, I can get him to so shoot one shot, then I could get in there. I hate the shotgun class, bro. bro. I hit him for 200. I'm gonna hit him for like. From yeah, what they are so saying, strong. it doesn't seem like they even yeah. had the idea of me running back and healing my chest and head in the middle of that whole thing. The last point for this tips and tricks video is take control of power points. I know I can gain control of heli pretty easily, which is the main power point of the map. If I control that, my team knows I can help B side and A side at any point while not being seen from tower. So my plan here is to take over heli, I run into two, and the round eventually turns into a 3v1. Uh, you know I know I have the time to heal with my teammate being in tower and one up by mid med there. ramp with a call out that their last guy is off his side. I take the time to heal and wait for point to come up, knowing I would be the one getting on either point. I take point knowing they have me covered. Now the round right after that, I could do whatever I want. Why are they going to keep wasting their lives going heli? 
but they think I am going to go heli, so they decide to not send anyone and not accounting for me to push whatever side I decide to help on. I choose to go nose heli to office side, and from my decision, you can see they are not expecting to push, thinking it will take the PowerPoint over this move.